Okay, well, good evening, everyone, and welcome back to The Bigger Picture. I'm your co-host, Kayla. And I'm your other co-host, Jaden. For those watching who are unfamiliar with the show, we spread awareness to other um, organizations and businesses that are presented here on campus. That includes programs, events, and anything else pertaining to these orgs and businesses. So if you didn't know, the reason we didn't have an episode last week was because me and Jaden both went back to the city for fall break, which, you hope, which we hope you all enjoyed. Speaking of fall break, Jaden, how was yours? It was good. It was good. Um, so fall break, you know, was really good. Um, man, it, I feel like midterm, you know, midterms mm -hmm. coming back, it was a lot. I'm not even going to lie. It was definitely a lot. Um, yeah, it was definitely a lot. I cannot complain. Um, yeah, so I... I it, it's been it's been a lot to do during midterms during um yeah it was a lot it was a lot to do I can't even it, my mind just you my don't mind even got been, words I get that yeah I don't I got get words that. for it well um my fall break was good um I didn't do too much I just spent time with my family mostly I went out with my little brother a few times I went out with my mom I went to go see my aunt it was good like I like hanging out with family it brings you back it keeps you grounded it helps you remember. Why you do what you do, you know? You get what I'm saying, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get what you're saying. So we have a lot of stuff coming up in the past in this past next couple of days. So let's start by talking about the BSU Black Student Union 70s Dance Night. This Saturday, October 19th, the Black Student Union will be having their 70s Dance Night from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. in Lakeside Commons. The dance. Night will, be, of course, be 70s themed, so make sure to come dress in your best disco outfits, and there will be music and refreshments included. What do you think of 70s fashion and music, Kayla? Um, honestly, I'll keep it real with you. I'm not really too familiar with that era. Only thing I'm really familiar with is like the clothes. Like I know it's a very colorful era. I know the bell bottoms. I'm a big fan of bell bottom jeans. I can't even lie. Like I love a good flare. Um, a couple artists from there. Maybe like Stevie Wonder, Fleetwood Mac. I'm a little familiar with that. How about you? I don't know. I'm familiar with BGs. You know, Michael Jackson. You know, had his first album late in the '70s. Okay. Um, Fleetwood Mac and Stevie Wonder. I'm also familiar with. Um, also Ray Charles, Marvin Gaye. Fashion. I'm not gonna lie. I cannot say that I like the fashion. You don't um, like it. It's too like color. I mean, I like color. I like vibrant, but it's just like. I wouldn't dress like that. You know, mm. I wouldn't dress 70s like fashion. That's okay. why I don't like it. Nothing you would bring to present day 2024. No, nothing from the 70s I'll bring to 20, oh, okay. 2024. Oh, my fault. All nothing. right. Well, now on to the programs coming up this week. Tomorrow, October 18th at 4 p.m. to 7 p.m., the Asian Student Association and SUNY Oswego Sustainability will be holding an event in making sugar art through traditional practices. Also at 4 p.m. tomorrow, the African American Males Empowerment Network will be holding a program at MCC 231 to talk about a historical point in African American history, the United States Colored Troops. And right after that program, right next door in MCC 225, Bold Black Beauties will be holding their program, A Journey in Progress, to reflect on midterms and talking about key tips to have a successful semester. Then on Monday, October 21st, at MCC 225 at 7 p.m., the Latino Student Union in Fashion at Oswego will be having a collab program titled, Our Culture is Not Your Costume. Speaking of FAO, they will be hosting their first fashion show of the year, The Met, The Sign of, of the Times, on Friday, November 8th in the Sheldon Ballroom. There is a black tie dress code, and the show will be from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Doors for the event will be opening at 6. They will also be holding tryouts for their NYC Classics from Mondays 7.30 to 8.30 and Thursdays 5.30 to 6.30, managed by Lisa and Talia. If you want more information, you can check out the Fashion at Oswego Instagram. We also have not one, but two dinners coming up in the next few weeks. The Caribbean Student Association will be having their annual dinner on Saturday, October 26th in the Sheldon Ballroom. The dinner is titled Mystique of the Islands and are asking for people to come dress in black attire. In black, in black attire. Tickets are available in the box office for $10 and doors for the event will open at 6.30 p.m. 
Then on Saturday, November 9th, the Latino Student Union will be holding their annual dinner in the Sheldon Barroom. The theme of the dinner is Welcome to Spanish Harlem, and the dress code is streetwear. Tickets for the event are also sold in the box office for $12, and doors will also open at 6.30 p.m. So we're going to throw us a break, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the bigger picture and our special guest. See y'all after the break. When you look at the number of disasters right. in the you, heard, US, you saw what I saw, right? Yeah, every uh, area will deal with some kind no. of emergency in the next decade. And between school, sports, and social lives, chances are you won't be with your kids when it happens. Will they know what to do? Ready.gov slash kids has the educational tools and information to make the conversation easy. When the time comes, chances are they'll feel prepared, not scared. So talk with your family today. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. Hey, I don't have much time. It's almost here. Listen closely, and whatever you do, don't panic. <laughs> with the bigger picture and we got our guests the caribbean <laughs> student association we got the president jalen we got the vice president janae how y'all feeling i'm good yeah i'm good i wish i had a haircut but i'm good <laughs> cool. jalen, this is your second time being back on the show bro i, I don't have a haircut this time still so. oh, got the hat. The end of the world, it's okay you know? got the vismus drip boy shirt yeah. I did a little something today. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Your name is your first time on yeah. the show. How you feeling? I'm all right, to be honest. I'm just okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, kind of nervous. Tell us <laughs> a little bit about y'all you know? Major, year, how's midterms going for y'all? Um, so I'm, a, I'm an accounting major. I'm a senior. I'm in the five-year program. I start my master's next semester. Um, Midterms, I don't really be having midterms, so I guess like that's a good thing for me. My class schedules are like not like everybody else's, <laughs> you know, like I had my test like weeks ago and then I have some more coming up next week. So I'm not on the typical midterm schedule like everybody else. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I'm kind of chilling this week, but next week is going to be rough. Yeah. 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 Of course. Um, well, I'm a marketing major. I don't got midterms actually. I'm mostly just project based, so it's like make sure I'm on top of my projects. Uh, I have a lot of projects right now. I literally have like three classes where I'm doing group projects and separately, so I'm trying to navigate that. I'm just staying busy, to be honest. Staying busy and trying to stay like working. Positive. Yeah, positive. <laughs> yeah. I feel you on that, bro. I feel you on that. Yeah. I hear that. So that brings us to our first question. So we know you have your annual dinner coming up. What was the inspiration behind the theme, Mystique of the Islands? Very interesting. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> so it's kind of weird because everybody in the e-board meeting, so we gave, like, the e-board assignments to come up with, like, you know, themes for the dinner. And everyone had, like, different ideas, but it was kind of similar to stuff we did before, like, in the past. So yeah. we were kind of like, no. And then, like, or one e-board member, Arlette, which is the committee leader, she was like, how about we do like a masquerade theme? And at first I was kind of like, 
mm, like I don't really see that like working, especially because mm -hmm. it's like Caribbean Student Association. Like, how how does mas masquerade tie in? But like, sh she got it to like, she got her ideas together, you know. And we were like, okay, like we can go with it. And then naming it was really hard because we didn't want people to think like masquerade, because then they would think what I thought, like how would how does that connect to CSA, you know? So we were like, okay, Mystique of the Island sounds sounds a little bit like mysterious, but still like cute, mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was a process. Yeah. Literally, yeah. yeah. <laughs> how was it like for both of y'all to plan an organization of dinner before the month of November? It's <laughs> it's a lot, honestly. Um, I feel like for me it was like a big like learning point and like like a high like I guess like learning curve to it to me where it comes to like a lot of things that are involved, you know, like whereas you're dealing with catering, you're dealing with tickets for box office, just you're dealing with booking the space, you know. Like there's a lot of like things that go into it, so it's not more so just like, Hey, we're in this area and we're having food, come hang out with us. It's more so like a lot of background of like contracts and signing things, POs. It's a lot of stuff that went into like that whole that building up process, and honestly, like a lot of things that like I learned just doing it, like it was a lot. Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah. Well, guys, we are in mid semester now, and we I already know y'all had a couple programs already. So let me just ask y'all, what's your favorite program y'all had so far? Honestly. I, this might be biased because it's like the most <laughs> recent one that I remember, but the Caribbean Stellum B one that we just had. Mm -hmm. I feel like that one was like very, very, very interactive. Like a lot of people came and they were like actually interacting with us. Like, I, you know, like sometimes people just come and they're just there for vibes, but people actually came and they were like spelling the words, they were having fun. So like, I really liked how that program went and it was really fun because I made the program and I didn't even know how to spell a lot of those words, so <laughs> it was just really fun. Yeah, that was probably my favorite one so far. Nah, it'd be like that. It'd be like that. Jalen, how you feel about it? I, I wanted to say that one too, but now I want to switch it up now. <laughs> so now I'm gonna say when we had our Caribbean playlist program, I think that was pretty full, cool because like it was really interactive, and I felt like a lot of people brought some good songs up and. I ain't gonna lie, I added like four or five of those songs to my playlist, so I, I feel like I got some good, you know, use out of that program, and it was really fun. Okay, you got some new music, got some new music. Yep. That's good, that's good. That is good, yeah. So what are three qualities you both learned about yourselves and being involved in your organization and the other people in your organization as well? You can think on it if you need to. <laughs> no, <laughs> I need to think. <laughs> I would say learning people personality. I feel like a lot of times you're being like a, like a working scenario or anything, and you're trying to like learn like who you're working with and stuff, but you don't really like, and I feel like in a presidency role, you're more so like you really got to know the person. You got to kind of understand them more, like how they think. So I feel like for me, it's like I, I, I'm a very compassionate person like regularly, but it was like more so like how can I understand you, understand what you're going through, to understand like, hey, like I need you to do this. Like I know you're a student first, you have other priorities and other like you know responsibilities, but you're on CSA, I need you to get this done. So I feel like it was a big learning curve for that. And just like interacting with a board and like just like having like, bondings and whatnot because you yeah. know everybody has their personal life like I know I have classes work um, yeah internships so like I know like I do a lot of stuff on the side so for oh. me it's like how can I still have this time where like hey like I understand you so I think that's why for me. Okay. yeah okay. I would say you said three qualities mm -hmm. okay you say three. <laughs> we could come back to you. <laughs> I might not have three either, but I would say mine would kind of be similar to Jalen's, but different in a sense. I would say, like, I definitely learned how to work with people mm. with different personalities for me. Because, like, I'm, like, a deadline-driven person. Like, I, I get stuff done, you know, like, and I've also learned to, like, not procrastinate. Do about your as, business. Yeah, oh, like, right. I really get stuff done. Like, I really, I, I be on top of my stuff, so... Working with people who's not like, you know, that's not their strong suit. So, yeah, that's something I would say, like, that's probably one of my biggest, like, you know, yeah. <laughs> valid, valid. You know, do y'all have any goals y'all would like to achieve this school year for the CSA organization? Yeah, I would just say we would like to, like, more outreach, like, reach more students. I feel like a lot of students, especially, like, freshmen, sophomore, 
the juniors probably know a little bit, you know, but I feel like a lot of students on campus, Caribbean descent or not, they just don't know about like a lot of orgs. They don't know about CSAs. I would just say like outreach in general for us, that's probably like our biggest goal. Yeah. What, are, what are some ways y'all plan on achieving that? So this is where it gets hard because <laughs> we're used to like the old way, I would say. I, I call it old because I feel like the kids coming in now, like, yeah, we're all Gen Z, but you guys know like there's a gap. Yeah. In Gen Z, the cold, 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 yeah. Cold. So like, it's a little bit hard yeah. to reach out to that group of Gen Zers. Mm -hmm. So we're still trying to like figure out <laughs> how exactly mm -hmm. we're doing that. Okay. Like the school told us, like they're using more like Laker Life now. Okay. So that's one way we tried. We just started trying that. So yeah. we'll see how that goes. Okay, you know, Laker Life is definitely a good um asset as um. You know, like I, well, me personally, like I just got involved with that um, website, the app. So I do get notifications on there as well. So it's like, that is mm -hmm. a good, that's a good method yeah. right there. Have you thought about fundraising also? Yeah. Um, I feel like for fundraising, we, we kind of like a little bit think of more so outside the box or like the regular like uh, bake sales or selling food. Mm -hmm. um, an idea that, you know, I actually, I kind of brought this idea up and I, we didn't really, We'll see where we'll see how far it goes. <laughs> okay, but the it's idea, just an idea right now. Yeah, okay. it's, it's, it's still, it's still in the the working stages. But the idea was um, getting like um, Caribbean Student Association like um, like merchandise that people can like have, so that you have something like a little bit more tangible instead of like the regular like you know bake sale goods. So I was kind of think of like a, like a cup or like a mug or something where it's like it's a Caribbean like CSA mug and like maybe you know you may not buy it for yourself, but you'll buy it for like your parents to say hey like this is for you you know for a Christmas gift or like a Christmas ornament. That has like you know CSA on it, but it's, you know it has like a map of like different islands of the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So like that was kind of like my idea, so like we can like have something where like you're not just buying something like you could buy. Well, you could buy it for yourself, but you could also buy something for, like as a gift for like your parents. Say hey, like you know, this happy Merry Christmas. You know, yeah. I like that. And I when like we that. came up with that too, like it was an idea we were thinking to do for like alums. Yeah. But we were thinking to do it for the dinner, but we came up with this like two weeks ago. And mm -hmm. if you know how much planning goes into stuff, like. Yeah, that's why we are like, it's just an idea, because we really planned it for, like, alums. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, then. I like those ideas that y'all got going. We're going to have a little commercial break, and when we come back, we're going to talk more to Jalen and Jernay. See you when you get back. It's me, Isabella Gomez, filling in for Smokey Bear because he's got more to say than just... Only you can prevent wildfires. Like, if you're outside enjoying a barbecue, don't let a hamburger distract you from fire safety. Make sure you aren't dumping your hot coals or ashes onto the ground because that could start a wildfire. So take wildfire prevention seriously and let's save the world one day at a time. Juntos con Smokey Bear, podemos hacerlo. Go to SmokeyBear.com to learn more about wildfire prevention. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, I don't have much time. It's almost here. Listen closely, and whatever you do, don't panic. Welcome back from break, everyone. Now we have just a few more questions for y'all. So what are y'all Caribbean backgrounds? Okay. <laughs> you want to go first? All right. So 
I'm actually finding out a little bit more just as recently as like last week. Um, so originally I, I knew my family was from Panama. That's kind of like where my, that's where my grandma and my grandfather was born and then they came to America. But I just found out that my grandma mom is Jamaican and also my aunts from somehow my family are Guyanese. So I'm kind of like learning this whole like ancestry thing right now. I want to take an ancestry test because I want to find more about it. But mm. for the most part, what I know is Panamanian come first, then a little bit of Jamaican, and now a little, little bit of Guyanese. So okay. Word. That's okay. what I know. Interesting. Word, word. So with me, my dad's side is fully Jamaican. My mom's side is technically fully Jamaican too, but we got like a little bit of Panamanian too. <laughs> like okay. my, you know how like Jalen said, Panamanian come first, Jamaican come second. Mine is like Jamaica first, then Panama second. Cause we're not that like connected to Panamanian culture. Okay, okay yeah. but that's what's up though. That's what's up though. Y'all the, the opposites, y'all the opposites. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. 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 I like that. So I like that, I like that for y'all. What are y'all favorite Caribbean food dishes? It could be from each country too. Cause I've heard of like some of the food dishes from Panama, but I haven't heard too much. So if y'all can give me like a little bit from both of those, I want to hear. Jalen, you already know I like food, so I'm, li I'm, I'm, li I'm listening closely on this one. Dang, I'm putting me on the spot. Mm. Yep. I'm not gonna lie, I, I always forget the culture names because, like, in my family, like, my, like, my family don't speak a lot of Spanish, and sometimes my grandma was, like, only speaks Spanish to me, and y'all, my Spanish is not, not up there yet. So we going, we going kind of, I'm gonna describe it in more of an English sense for now. Okay, okay. okay. So, we, so it's more so, like, for me, like, because my grandma makes it really good, it's like a, a dish of, like, pantanos and, like, rice and peas, and she kind of like she does a lot of like beef, so she does like a lot of like like stew beef or like we'll say stew beef for now, <laughs> stew, 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 beef, stew beef, and like she'll mix it with a lot of like like greens and stuff as well. So you know it, it'll be like a healthy play of like you just looking at like rice and peas, got the plantains on the side, got the stew beef as well. Then you got like some salad with some like steamed cabbage, steamed mm -hmm. vegetables and stuff. So it's like I don't know how to explain it, but I, I, I don't know how to, I know how to, I knew it in Spanish. But I don't want to say it right now because I don't, <laughs> you know. But okay. but yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so for me, I have a lot of favorite Jamaican dishes, but like I would say, like my top top ones. Yeah, I'm gonna give y'all like three because I really can't choose. Like I was thinking about it. So I love stew peas. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. with that, it's literally like red peas, like just like cooked out and it has like meat in it. So it has like turkey neck, pigtail. Yeah, I don't need. I can't think of what else <laughs> right now. You, you already. That, yeah. that's, that's, yeah. that's, that's good. That's good. I love all. curry goat with rice and peas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's like gotta be up there too. And I like escovish fish, which okay. is just fried fish with like pickles on it. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's like my top three. Okay. Yes. Yeah. I see that y'all both are on the stew side. I love <laughs> a good stew chicken with rice and peas. My really? mom is Trinidadian, so <laughs> yeah, she throw down. She get down with the stew chicken. I can't lie. I can't really on the stew chicken, but you know, catch me on some fried or baked chicken. American <laughs> over here. Oh, <laughs> chicken be good. No, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay to be American. It's okay to be American. Trust, trust. But um, so what is your favorite thing about CSA? If there's more than one thing, you can say that too. Yeah, don't gotta be just one. Yeah. You want me to go first? You want to go first? Uh, you can go first. My favorite thing, I've been a part of CSA since my freshman year, and I'm a senior now, so that sounds like kind of old. <laughs> <laughs> but my favorite thing has always been the e board. I feel like we're literally like a family. Like, no matter what, like, we come into the board, literally nobody knows anybody. And by the end of the year, like, we know each other on a personal level. So I've, like, that's literally always been my favorite thing. Yeah. And that's something we prioritize, like, as current president and vice president. Yeah, mm. okay. yeah nah. I'm, I'm going to agree on that. Like, just, like, the being connected with the e-board. I feel like just being connected with people, like, in general, like, whenever, like, you're working on something together, like, you're sharing, like, a common goal, like, a common mission, I feel like that's, like, really impactful. For me as well, I would say... It kind of got, it also the events. I feel like CSA events have just been like very like lively and like energetic. And I, I, you need that as a college student because like times like when you're doing classwork, going, going to class, going home, going to class, going home, it's like, I'm bored. But when you have like those moments to come out to the event, like paint versus powder, and you're throwing paint, music is loud, you're throwing powder, you know what I'm saying? Like you're having fun. Like, I like those events. It's just that energy is high. I like that. Word, word. Do y'all ever do like little potlucks for each other and bring different Caribbean yeah. dishes? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we definitely okay. did. Yeah. Was that our last bonding? 
kind of our last bonding. I think that was the last one. We did that the last bonding. It wasn't really Caribbean dishes. That was more like just having fun with it. Yeah. yeah. But we do a lot of cooking. Almost every bonding, like, we're going to cook. Okay. <laughs> like, One thing about always. y'all, you're going to have a meal. Yeah. 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 You're going to have a meal there. <laughs> oh, man. Like, there's always going to be food. Yeah. yeah. Food is essential. Right. You need food there. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's what yeah. bring the people together. It, bring, it, it brings people together. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah. yeah. Food, food can make family. That, that's, why, that's why it's F. Food, family. If it fits, well, it fits well with each other. Right. 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 So, so, do y'all feel like there's, like, room for improvement, like, based on how y'all run y'all org? Yeah, I f- that's a good question. I feel like as like a business student for me, like I always look at things like yeah, there's always room for improvement. And like, I look at it in the aspect that's also like stirring down from like leadership down. So like, I kind of like look at it as like, all right, so what can president do more to help the organization, you know? And then what can vice president do more? What can secretary do more? So like, that's how I look at it. And for me, it's like, all right, how can I like help people on the board on my, like, my e-board and also help people that's like in the committee and stuff as well yeah. and right now I'm starting with the e-board and just like helping people like on like a personal level where it's like not CSA related like someone came to me was like they're having like a problem with homework and stuff and they're like hey like my, my classes like I have, I'm overloaded with classes and I was like do you have a paper to do I was like let me help you with the paper or something like that you know so, so starting like that I feel like for me is like how I'm working at like all right wherever like our CSA weak points and stuff like let's let's tackle it from like inside and out yeah I, I would agree with that, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I like that, okay, you know? Okay. Helping Word. each other out, real yep. family dynamic, I like that. Yeah. As a, as an organization should. You yeah. Know? Should have, should be like that, should be like that. So let me ask y'all real quick. Yeah, I can, I can answer this quick, or y'all can take a minute answering this. What is y'all favorite Caribbean artist? Vox Cartel. Vox Cartel, she was quick with that one. <laughs> <laughs> As we can see, <laughs> <laughs> he needs to take like, a minute. He needs uh, to take some time. You know, it's okay. Wait, what are your s- favorite Vibes Cartel songs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. Songs? Uh, give me, like, top three. <sighs> okay. You know, beg you all. Yeah. Um, I like Color in This Life. Mm. We forget the name. Low key, low key. I'm there for the days. But like, I also like, mm, I just like all his songs. I'll tell you, Fever is not up there. How was go? I thought you were going to say Fever is not up there. Fever is not, no. Is it too played out? Yeah. Okay. Like, okay, I hear yeah. that. And then also <laughs> to me, like, it's been an old song. Like, this came out like 2016, and I came to college, and people are like playing it at every single party. It's like, okay, like, we got to <laughs> stop. Listen, listen, like, listen, we, we need to stop. Listen. Yeah. Oh, listen. 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 I don't care how old it is, it's still a good song. Listen. Please. You still listen wow. to 2016 Drake, so. Listen, I, yeah, but I, you don't wait, listen to it every day. 2016 Drake, like. no, I don't listen to that every day. But 2016 songs, yes, yes, I do. I do listen yeah. to that. Okay, I yeah. just got tired of hearing Fever. Like I can I tell you, it's not one that people were fevering it out. Like. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it was fevering out. I, c- I cannot. Yeah, but I can't think of another one right now. <laughs> so, so, so Jayla, what about you, real quick? Before Bro, we- I, I I got stuck. I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like for me, like I like a lot of like um older songs right now so like i feel like for me like listen to like barris hand like barris with budra banton yeah we're gonna stay with those two for now okay we're gonna right. stay with those two for now no okay we're gonna stick with that we're gonna stick with that all right Kayla, you want to you want to add anything? Want to add a favorite artist? No, like, for yeah, why, yeah, why <laughs> was, what's your favorite? No, no, no. Um, you know what? Like from the Caribbean side, the Trini side, I would say like Bungie, um, Ola Tunde. You know, those are some older ones though. I like yeah. that. Um, you don't like my show? I like my show. I like oh, my okay. show, but like I don't know. I feel like the new stuff hasn't been moving me. I'm more of an old my show. I can't even lie. I'm more of like, an old soca person. Yes, like, I'm, I'm not really into soca. the new soca. I can't, I'm not into the new yeah. soca at all. Yeah, I can't I lie. I agree with that too. Mm-hmm. So yeah. See, this is where that I'm gonna play that American card. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. I'm gonna play that American card, and I'm just gonna be like, listen. Um, so I don't got a favorite Caribbean mm-hmm. artist, but a favorite artist. Yeah, we go. We we go. We go. We gonna say J Cole. We gonna put J Cole right there. Jermaine Cole. Okay. He's okay. going in the American stuff. Yup. <laughs> with, yeah. with that being said, we are at the end of the show. So Janae, Jalen, thank you for being on. Is there thank anything you. you would like to share with the audience back home? Back home. 
<laughs> we, <laughs> we, we, people watching. People watching. Um, we hope to see you guys at our annual dinner. And next week we have programs Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Yeah. Okay. And well, you can like go week. on our Instagram for more information. And we just hope to see you guys. Yeah. yeah. Stay tuned. Indeed. Indeed.